All right, guys. Uh, I don't know. A lot of a lot of people have bought the uh, 600 LED lights and the 900 LED lights. Great lights. Um, but if you want to run them on battery power, your option is a V-mount battery, or you can run DC in from uh, what I've been using is a Tekion that runs about $140 per battery, and that gives you about an hour and 20 minute run time. So uh, I didn't want to buy too many of those Tekion batteries. They are expensive. So what I did was um, I bought these Sony battery chargers. These are N NPF battery chargers. And uh, I opened them up. I gutted them out. And what I was left with was just a straight shell with the, uh, the wires, the internal wires, uh, that connect to the pins here. So I took two of these and I ran them in series. So now when I dock uh, the Sony batteries here, I have a barrel plug end here. I'm actually powering my uh, LED light from 14.8 uh, volts because each one of these is 7.4 volts so it's about 14.8 volts and um, these little battery uh, trays are about five bucks you'll need two of them these Sony NPF batteries here this is a 550 generic I'm not exactly sure what the runtime is I just finished this up that's why it looks like crap I'll clean all that up later uh, proof of concept right so um, these batteries also come in larger capacities to like big ones so Sony makes like a 530, 570, 960, 970 so they get bigger and they all use kind of the same mount so I can get larger capacity batteries and uh, put them on the back here and I think those generic 970s the real big Sony ones generic ones I think they only run about 25 bucks don't quote me on that but I, I think that's what it is either way these Sony batteries are very inexpensive you can stock up on a lot of these things um, and power up your LED lights if you're working remotely at uh, full power basically so hope you guys like that DIY I plan on making more of these for my uh, other uh, other LED lights so it's a good uh, backup solution and uh, inexpensive batteries